Whoa. I just wanted to say, I know you bastards missed me. <laughs> even you, Arthur. Even you. Here we go, what? house I'm back home now. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. Do you seem in a good mood? I am, son. I am. Let's have some fun. Tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Great. And don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you Mr. drunk McGuire old shitbag. So It'll be nothing but the, the finest the game party. in the pot. Now, Dead Eye Maguire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. I love you, bastards. <laughs> have fun. Have lots of fun. <laughs> Even you, you oh, grumpy old bastard, Arthur. Oh, come on, let's Mr. Uh -oh, here comes trouble. I just can't get rid of you, can I? Mind if I join you, fine folk? I suppose. You are looking lovely as ever, if I may say so. Oh, stop it. Imagine riding with him all the way from Blackwater to here. This stupid old. So, what now? Come on. How about a song? <laughs> He'll be drinking till dawn now, I bet. Oh, let Listen, him have some friend. fun. He's been Did through a lot. Know the Louisville I thought lane? you Irish enjoyed a party, Molly. I am enjoying it. I just don't need to fall over <laughs> drunk with the rest of the Mark, well, what I do say, she says, young man, you're in great haste for the diddle, diddle, diddle all the day. Put my hand upon her thigh, Mark, well, what I do say, she says, you're getting pretty nigh to my diddle, diddle, diddle all the day. Put my hand upon her ass, Mark, well, what I do say, she says, let's lay down on the grass and diddle, diddle, diddle all the day. <laughs> that spent every waking minute just dreaming of leaving, and and then they left, and then they jumped back in again. Stupid. You know what? That, that taught me something, and 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 it taught me something I will never forget. And that's that most fellas are sheep. That's right. And and if you can tell the difference between a. You, the difference between a sheep and a, a, a sheep and, and a man, then you, you, well, you, the, you, that makes you a better man than me, sir. And that's all I'm saying. Mark my words, all of you, mark my words. Stupid army. Sheep. So, you got your buddy back? I am Wasn't the same without him. Nope. Who been too long? You're always ready to let loose, Martian. Well, life's too short. Well, he's back. As loud a mouth as ever. Ah, oh, you can talk. Mr. Morgan. Morgan. Reverend. Hello. What do you want? 
Anna. I'm not quite sure. Oh. This keeps happening. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Yep, and all right. So your drinking pal's back? With a vengeance, it seems. <laughs> yeah, I'd forgotten how loud he was. Look after your boy tonight. He's not my boy. Okay, okay. Free-ranging rover, I roam and sing a merry song. The wide, wide world I wander over, with a light, light heart I rove along. Oh, I'm a wild free rover, I sing a merry song. The wide, wide world I wander over, with a light, light heart I rove along. With a light, light heart I rove along. The wind rove free o'er hill and river, and the clouds roam free along the sky. Each little bird's a wild free rover, and a rover wild and free am I. Oh, I'm a wild free rover, I sing a merry song. The wild bird I wander over, oh, it's a light, light heart. Suddenly, you seem much better, Marston. Don't feel too sudden to me. Just when the drinks come out. <laughs> hey, Bill. Hi there. All right, well, I should be getting on. All right, all right. Good to have him back. Let's see if we're still saying that in a day or two. How are you doing, Mrs. Adler? Uh, not really in the party mood. I understand. Okay, Jose. Well done, Arthur. Uh, it wasn't just me. Well, we got him. You did very well. All of you. And now we're stuck with him. Take a crack of a ring-dang-doo, the ring-dang-doo. Now what is that? 
Softly round like a pussy cat. Got a hole in the middle and it's split in two. And that's, that's what they call, they call ring dang do. Yes. You ain't joining in? There is little joy left in drinking for me. Okay, then. You didn't need much excuse. Somebody needs to show you all how it's done. Welcome back, Sean. I owe you one, Arthur Morgan. The drinks are on me. They always are when you ain't buying. So much fun, boy. That's your fucking hair down like a man. <laughs> Hell, even old man Strauss is more of a laugh than you, boy. Well, thank you, kid. I, I, I'm sorry, Art. I, I, I didn't mean it. It's just because I care. It's because I love you, Arthur. Really, it is. Mr. Matthews? Looks like this could be a late one. Oh, I reckon. You all right? <sighs> Better out than in. Just take it easy, okay? This could be a late one, Miss Gaskell. Hey, oh, you boys have fun. Sean seems to be just getting started. Okay, well, let's talk more later. All right, Uncle. We finally have something to smile about. Let's enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> Abigail, it's a party. <laughs> okay, I'll try, Arthur. Well, I think some of those boys are just getting started. They've never seen a white man before. As luck would have it, they, they had a witch doctor made a prophecy that a god would turn up floating on the river, white as a cloud. <laughs> So they made me a god. <laughs> and it was fun for a few weeks. <sighs> well, then they tried to marry me off to the chief's daughter. Either that or <sighs> sacrifice me to another god. <laughs> when I said I'm not the marrying kind, 
They wanted to kill me and feed me to their pigs. <laughs> well, I ran away and, well, I spent weeks in the jungle. <laughs> Gorging off giant cockroaches. Oh, God. True story. I promise you. <sighs> okay, Javier. So what happened to Trelawney? Disappeared, as usual. You was in Africa? I've lived many a life, young Morgan. Uh, in your mind, maybe. You love a party, Mr. Pearson. We needed this. Yes, we did. I don't know. Well, me. Or not me. Maybe me. I don't... Ah, shit, I don't know. I mean, like... Hey. Hey. It's like... Okay. I... Love liquor. I love liquor. But liquor... Don't love me. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> pathetic. Genuinely pathetic. Come here, my sweet. Oh, Me, Arthur. You all right, dear? Yeah, I might have overdone it again. Hello. <laughs> What are you doing there, yo creep? Hey, Arthur. Looks real heavy in Blackwater, Dutch. Posters of you and Jose everywhere, Trelawney said. All the more reason to stay well away for now. I got no intention of going back anytime soon. Morning, Arthur.
These things are hey, sent to glad to have us. your Irish friend back. Ah, it's not really my friend. Well, okay then. But answer me this. If Miller is a fraud, is he an honest fraud? The way I see it, he's the worst kind of fraud, Mr. Dutch. He's a rich dreamer playing at being one of us. How do you mean? He's on vacation with the lower classes. The outlaws, those unprotected by wealth. You are too hard on him. He, he writes with incredible beauty. Yes. He's very ornamental, as my uncle would say. And your uncle? What was he? He was a slave. I think. Most educated man in his county. But a slave. Miller writes about men like him. Oh, John was looking for you, Arthur. He's over by the tree behind the campfire. You was? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Look, you're a great man, Mr. Dutch. But you ain't great because of Evelyn Miller. <laughs> Keep quiet, Morgan. He'll eat you alive. It ain't difficult. <laughs> Pearson? My God, what did I drink last night? Hey, Arthur! What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train? Pain in the ass. Sure, but what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. Okay there, boy.
okay, boy? Yep. There we go.
Yeah.
gotta help me out here. Come on, please. I'm about done here. If I don't get these shackles off soon, I'm a goner. Please. This is crazy. Just shoot the shackles. One bullet, that's all. Everyone deserves a second chance. Come on. Please. There you go. Oh. Oh, thank God. Oh, well, I've waited to hear that noise for so long. Yeah, I bet. I, I wish I could give you some money or... Well, you know, I might have something of interest. Some fat feller and his wife had a pig farm, uh, northeast of Rhodes, near the border with Roanoke. Word is, he's got piles of money. You sure I'm the right person for this sort of information? I ain't saying nothing. Do with it what you will. Just keep out of sight for a bit. Oh, I intend to. Thank mm -hmm. you. 